welcome to another episode of Superpower Review. I'm your host, Ken Vidinia, and I'm super excited for today's episode because I have a very special guest and a talented guest, and I want to thank him for being on, and let's welcome Reno Massad. Reno, what's going on, buddy? Hey, good, man. How you doing? We're doing great over here. It's finally a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. I'm so sick of the rain. Uh, has it been really super rainy there in New York? Yes. Rainy, humid, very odd. I went outside today and was literally showering pollen today. It was disgusting. Ooh, yeah. yeah that's, no that good. good. So, no, no bueno. Reno, I want to thank you for being on today's show. I'm a huge fan. I love your artwork. I go through your Instagram and I took a shot through, you know, a shot in the dark and said, let's see if I can get this guy on the show. So, cool. Stop kudos. it, stop it. <laughs> So, Reno, let's start off the show. Uh, why don't you tell uh, our viewers a little bit about yourself and, uh, you know, a, a little quick bio. Uh, I am an illustrator living in Brooklyn, New York City, and I'm uh, hoping to eventually accomplish the dream of uh, having a creator-owned comic that um, the mainstream audiences embrace and uh, and the big two are uh, DC and Marvel get jealous of. So, you know. Oh. Just hey, a little dream. You already answered too many questions there. Right? I, got, I got a list of questions here. Oh, I'm it's, sorry. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's really cool. So how long uh, have you been creating art for, and when did you get started? Uh, I've been drawing since I was five, as far as I can remember. Uh, I'm in my 30s now. That's as far as I'll go in, in terms of age-wise. But uh, so a long time, I, I, I stopped for... A few years, I ran a production company uh, for about six, seven years. Um, and then I want to say in 2011, I got back into art illustration. I recently, uh, I mean, I'm nowhere near as good as you are, but I recently got back into drawing. Uh, that's been a lot awesome. of fun. Yeah, you know, um, I've been loving comic books ever since I was a kid. Uh, my, I, I still remember my first comic book, and I wish I still had it. It was Street Sharks number one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, my brother is a huge artist. Uh, he's a, he's uh, big into tattooing, so that's where I, I kind of started picking up on drawing. But, uh, again, nowhere near as good as you are, but I, I've recently uh, found new love for, for uh, drawing again, uh, and I've been doing it on my free time, and you are a huge inspiration uh, when it comes to drawing, good man, you just got to put in those hours. That's uh, uh, for me. I you know, when you draw a lot, you think that you're good, right? For then you stop and you realize that you suck. And you need to... <laughs> well, so, uh, if, it's if been you a learning think you experience suck, to, then to... you have problems. <laughs> I just I just always see the potential of where I can go, and I know that if I you know do the finger push-ups, I'll be ready to go. So. <laughs> uh, you did send us some of your art. Here's one right here. This is a uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, why don't you uh, why don't you go ahead and explain uh, some of these illustrations that you did? Uh, so yeah, these are a few of my illustrations I've done in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, the Wonder Woman was uh, my attempt at her having a long day, and you know, even a if a strong woman needs a a, a hard drink, you know. <laughs> so uh, that's that's one illustration. The two on the right are some of my favorites. They're uh, the Super Brat and Bat Brat. Um, something cute. that when I was a kid, I used to dress up, make my own little personal costumes. Uh, so I decided to try to illustrate that same uh, uh, nostalgic feeling and uh, illustrated. Like, like we all uh, have. <laughs> yeah. And this is Samus from, or Justin Bailey from the original Nintendo Metroid game. This was the alternate costume uh, that you can unlock if you typed in Justin Bailey in the password select screen. And of course, right next to her is Gizmo and Stripe. From the famous 80s Gremlins movie, which I hope they make a sequel eventually uh, <laughs> before I, you know, get old and pass away. I was definitely afraid of that movie growing up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was yeah. awesome, but definitely scary as a kid. Yeah, definitely afraid of that. And my, my brother used to tease me all the time with that, with the Gremlins, yeah. It was still better than Aliens. Aliens scared the uh, pants off me. I didn't, <laughs> after the first, I would say, like, 10, 15 minutes of Aliens, I... As a kid, I just didn't look at the screen, but I listened to the whole movie. Um, so this is Batman 75. I, I was cel helping celebrate the 75th anniversary of my favorite character, which is Batman. Um, 
and it's probably one of my favorite pieces. Uh, th- when, when I went through your pieces that you sent me, this was one of my top favorite. I have another one that we haven't gotten to yet that I really love, but I absolutely love this Batman. He looks absolutely sick, and I love his, his tethered, ripped-up cape. And Oh, man, th- this, this whole illustration is badass right here. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I was trying to have him looking like he's going to war. You know, he's, he's going in and fighting, going down fighting. So we have here, we got Ryu and Ken from the classic Street Fighter series. It's been uh, probably wasted many quarters on that game. Um, <laughs> and that, uh, especially the iconic image of Ryu with his Hadouken is uh, something that's been burning my, my mind since I was a kid. Uh, and contrary to popular, popular belief, that is not Stripper Hulk. Um <laughs> <laughs> that is a commission someone uh someone commissioned me to do the hulk as if he's a firefighter and that's his uh unit uh on his helmet but he's not a stripper <laughs> i i love these uh the the street fighter illustrations because for one i love black and gray uh artwork and when you get a little hint of red it's uh it's it, it really makes it pop and i, I really love those illustrations as well so oh, thanks, yeah. yeah those 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 are those are looking really good here's some more uh great artwork uh, these were also commissioned, Cyclops and Rogue from the classic 90s Jim Lee X-Men. I think uh, a lot of us probably remember that series the most. Um, Jim Lee's run of X-Men was amazing, and that 90s cartoon was, you know, as, as badly animated as it was, it was uh, amazing as well. That, that was a huge uh, staple for my, for my Saturday morning yeah. cartoons was, was that animated uh, x-men show i love that i i have that uh there that theme song as my ringtone. oh yeah is it, is it your ringtone <laughs> it's my ringtone sick hell yeah <laughs> here's some more great artwork um this is uh from a pretty adult anime called berserk uh that is the protagonist and the antagonist guts and griffith um these were done very large i want to say 17 by 22 maybe a little less than that uh, and then it would crop down to 11 by 17, but all Copic markers uh, with some acrylic paint. Now, what is some of uh, the process that you have to go through in order to create one of these pieces here? Uh, it depends. If it's something, if it's something for myself, uh, I'll do like uh, a bunch of rough sketches, very small thumbnails. Um, if it's a commission, usually the commissioner will ask me. Um, hey, I want, you know, Spider-Man with, like, a Batman cowl or something like that. Uh, so it's a little less thought process involved. But usually it starts with a small pencil sketch. I blow up the sketch, transfer it to paper, um, and then ink and color it with either Copics or, depending on the project, sometimes digital. And how long does it usually take to, to, to get one of these done? Uh, depending on the size. If it's something uh, like this, which is a 5 by 7 Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is probably like an hour or so, maybe two hours. That's only an hour? Yeah, two hours. Well, I want to say two hours because the sketch first and then the coloring. This is a little more simpler, though, because it's it's mostly grays, you know, with the face. And the color is pretty much like one tone. Uh, a little bit of a darker shade on top. And then I have its print right there. That's so cool. That's so cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, Thanos, I'll show you this one real quick. Thanos took a little longer. This one probably took about maybe four to six because of the space. Yeah, a lot of creases in his face. Yeah, exactly. That that background, that space background, that must... Took some time. Took some time. (laughs) Yeah, and then to match them because he's part of a set, so I had to make sure that the set lined up. So this one took a lot longer than the Joker. Very cool. Very very nice. We we so we showed we showed more artwork here. We had uh, some some nightmare Batman. Could we, could we pull those back up if we could? And uh, then uh, I saw Harley Quinn and uh, Slimer from um, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters baby, eighties, eighties, you eighties babies in in your in your Ghostbusters. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so these were me experimenting with a more cinematic format. Um, the Nightmare Batman and Harley Quinn uh, experiments, experimentations, trying to improve myself as a storyteller with within a confined space. 
And the Ghostbusters was a commission uh, for a good friend of mine, and it's one of my favorite characters growing up, too. Slimer, 80s, man. Slimer, you, again, you 80s babies and your Ghostbusters. That's right, oh, yeah. Now, uh, what influences you to pick up the pencil and, and draw these, these beautiful creations? I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I suck at taking orders. I, so I've been an entrepreneur probably my whole life, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at working for people. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have, um, you know, I know, I know you read comics. Uh, who is your favorite comic book artist and, uh, you know, do, do they influence you to, uh, to draw? Uh, favorite man, that's a tough one. Um, uh, I mean, we mentioned Jim Lee earlier, of course, he's like a staple, Jim but I want to say like Arthur Adams, like his early X Men work, long shot. Um, uh, Norm Brayfogel, he I was a huge Norm Brayfogel fan with Batman, uh, Detective Comics back in the days. Um, Joe Mad, of course, Joe Madarera, yeah, um, and McGinnis, those are probably my top guys. I don't know if it's you really see it in my work, but those are some of the, my favorite illustrators from the yeah, 80s, I've, 90s. I've seen them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both really good. Uh, definitely my favorite from what you listed off is Jim Lee. I uh, love Jim Lee. Yeah, he's, he's a really great artist. Uh, King, King Jim Lee. <laughs> yes, King Jim Lee. Uh, but one of my uh, tape, uh, top favorite comic book artists, and you'll, you'll see some of them back here, uh, I am a, a top, huge McFarlane fan. I love Todd McFarlane. I should have uh, listened to him. Yes, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, McFarlane. Uh, love Rob Liefeld. Uh, his his earlier stuff. Um, but did I, you get that Spawn retailer variant? Oh no, I did not. <laughs> I did not. That's a deep cut, y'all. Ah. ah. I feel it. <laughs> no, I did not get those. I wish I did. I, I wish I did get one of my, uh, you know, my hands on one of them. But no, I didn't. I, every time I see you guys on Instagram, yeah, yeah, posting, yeah. look what I got. I'm like, Damn it! Just bubbles, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man, <laughs> why, why could I get one? Yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah. Th those, those are uh, definitely one of my top favorite uh, comic book uh, artists, and you know, of course. Uh, um, another one back here, uh, Frank Miller, uh, also a really good artist, but my, my top favorite, uh, favorite comic book to read. Uh, right now, definitely Batman. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the, uh, button arc that's going on with DC Rebirth. Yeah. Just uh, did a review on that. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's good so far. It's a shame that we have to wait so long for the, uh, next part in the series, but it's good. That was good. That's the got me reading comics again. Yeah, yeah. That was one of my things that I said on on the review. Why did Why do we have to wait till November to to continue this story? Nah, I don't know these people in these comic books. They're trying to, you know, it's it's a business. They got to get those ca that cash, you know. They got to get that cash. They exactly. They got to get the cash. Uh, yeah, DC uh, DC Rebirth is is uh, is probably. You know, DC is is trumping Marvel right now when it comes to comic books right now in in sales. Uh, I am definitely finding myself going toward more of the DC Rebirth stuff than any Marvel stuff right now. The only thing I'm reading from from Marvel is definitely Venom and and nothing really why, much more. Let me ask you, why do you think that is? Why do I think that is? Uh, well. I really don't know, but uh, I'm going to have to say because I really don't have any other interest in, in, the, in the stories that are happening to other characters and, to, uh, and the change-up of characters in, in, this, in the stories. Agreed. Agreed. That's yeah. a whole nother episode. I got you. Yeah, it's a whole... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're conversating. We're having fun. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's it's a, it's superpower deep. review. We're talking about comics, and that's what the show is about. So who cares? <laughs> it's it's such a rabbit hole when, we, when discussing those. It's like why is Marvel failing right now at comics, but doing so well at the movies? Mm, why is that? Hmm. Well, uh, I, hey, I don't have a beard. I'm yeah, sorry. I got the longer. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for the both of us. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I, and I hear that uh, Marvel is going to be doing uh, something a little bit what DC is doing with Rebirth. They're going to be calling it Marvel Legacy. 
and uh, they're getting so oh, much. Yeah, they're getting so much hate for that, and and uh, people are going like, "Why are you copying? Why can't you do something on your own?" <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, again, it's a business, right? So you see your competitor doing better, you want to, you know, try to break it down and analyze it. But um, maybe it's maybe it's a good thing, though. I think, um, I know for me, when I tried reading the Marvel books recently, I was a little confused. I was like, wait, there's Spider-Man has a kid, but there's also this other title. He's like a millionaire. And so, you know, it's yeah. like, and what's going on? The other title where he, you know, his his, his daughter is a, is a superhero now. Super, and, it's weird. Which Peter Parker is it really? Who knows? <laughs> Nobody yeah. knows. <laughs> so, let's, get, let's get the uh, Marvel editor-in-chief on the show, too, uh, Alex Alonzo. Let's I do know. it. I don't, I don't know if that's... Uh, Come on. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to send some emails. Come on, Alex. Come, Come on. on. Come on. <laughs> So, Reno, uh, you know, your artwork, getting back to your artwork, uh, your artwork is absolutely fantastic. Thanks, man. Um, I appreciate that. It, it, it really is awesome. At, you know, I remember the first time I followed you, and I, I think the first time I followed you, I went through your whole Instagram page and just started blowing up and liking everything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, since this show has been going on and, you know, I recently saw you uh, posting comic book stuff. And again, a huge shot in the dark saying, let's see if this guy will come on. And then uh, you, you decided to come on. So thank you. Thank you. No so problem, much man. That. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I totally as long as I have time, I totally enjoy doing things like this. I mean, it's fun to talk comics. It's fun to talk art. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a nerd. You know, you're a, ner- it. you're a nerd. I'm a nerd. Everybody's a nerd. Yeah. Uh, since you're in New York. Okay, maybe maybe you can travel down next time and we'll have a, a, okay. a live stream. Where, where are you guys located? We're in Seekonk, Massachusetts. Oh, you're not that far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about, I don't know, three hours maybe? Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll get out, I can get out the concrete jungle for a while. Yeah, come on. Adventure out. <laughs> so, uh, Reno, what, is, um, what are some of your, and, you know, I, you, you kind of touched upon it a little bit in the beginning. Uh, so what are... Uh, your future goals or what what are you working on right now uh well i recently retired my versus series which was those portrait sized uh heads um i'm i want to do more creator own stuff i want to focus on either my own i'm not a storyteller but I, i would like to own part of a story so maybe collaborate with a writer i have a couple guys that i'm working with right now very cool um and i want to work on my interior work like my the the pages inside of a comic so that I can add more value when either creating my own book or maybe potentially applying for one of the big two. But I'm more interested in doing it for myself. I feel like, you know, if you're going to do anything in this life, you got to do it for yourself. You know, exactly. Very, I hate the term, but YOLO. Very, 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 very true what you said. If you're going to do something, do it for yourself. And I, I really uh, understand that greatly. Uh, not, you know, just for a life lesson, but. Um, you know, as a lot of my followers know, I am a martial artist and, you know, I train f- specifically for myself and to, to help my students as well. But of very, course. very true words on what you just said. Uh, Got to like, help yourself first before you help others. That's uh, how I always see it, man. That's like, right. That's right. I, you, I want to share all the time. I do a lot of live streams as well. I do uh, Twitch. I do sometimes Instagram. I sometimes do Periscope. And I try to share what I, the techniques that I'm using the tools that I'm using whenever I get a chance. So, um, yeah. So if, if, uh, let's just say, uh, if, if somebody, uh, called you today, uh, and wanted you to do a, uh, artwork for a comic book, for a comic book, uh, which company would you want it to be from? And what character would you like it to be from? Uh, it's got to be DC and Batman. DC and Batman. Yeah, got to be. I mean, that's first comic I ever read is a Batman comic. So if I could uh, do Batman, that'd be amazing. And if uh, if you did a Batman comic book, I'm sure it would look a lot like that. Uh, yeah. Pic- that photo that you sent us with with the you are tape. right you are correct sir <laughs> you are correct sir i, I was going to say something expletive but i'm not going to do that I'm, 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes. Um, very, very cool. Um, is there anything else that you would like to mention uh, in, in the show that, that I didn't uh, ask? Uh, no, but I will say this to any of the young viewers. Um, just keep on drawing. Make sure you put in that work daily, and uh, hopefully you'll get better as long as you analyze your drawings. That's uh, something a lot of illustrators don't share. Um, whenever you're drawing, analyze your drawing, and what can you improve? Do iterative uh, drawing is what it's called. And uh, you will be way better than me. So do it. And maybe maybe they'll they'll uh, do some great artwork for comic books as well. That's right. Hell yeah. I mean, the show is all about comic books. It doesn't have to be per se comic books. Whatever the heck yeah. you want. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, hey, if you want to work in films too, doing it, that's what I did for a while too. So you, it doesn't matter. Whatever your whatever your passion lies, follow it and work hard at it. As long as you do it daily, you just got to do it daily. Stay away from the video games, kids. Stay away from video games, yeah. Uh, comic, book, comic books are cheaper anyways. Exactly. <laughs> and you can eventually resell them if you need to. Right? Yeah, yeah, that too. If, and, you, you, know, you, know, if you needed to. I, I've never seen really... Uh, I haven't... I mean, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure there will be someone on YouTube who will comment like, no, that's not true. Uh, I, I yeah, don't yeah. see as many uh, video games that go... Uh, like old video games that go up in price... As much as comics do. No. And, and also, I think a lot of video games now, you can download them digitally. You can't resell a digital copy. This is fact, kids. <laughs> this is very much fact, yeah. Unless they change the game later, but right now. Yeah, it's part of the reason why I got back into comics. It was cheaper. It's some sort of investment, and I enjoy them. It's a win-win. And I don't waste a lot of time. I could take 20 minutes, read a book, get back to work. There you go. And, and, and for me, uh, comic books is uh, one of uh, my favorite forms of, of entertainment, really. Because when yeah. I read a comic book from panel to panel, uh, I don't know if it's just uh, the video person in me, but I can, I can take whatever the artist gives me in those panels and create a movie in my head. I don't know yeah. if that's the same for other people, but that's definitely how I read a comic book. I think if the illustrator is really uh, good and the storytelling is as, as, as they they work together well, then yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Snyder and Capullo, right? Their run is very cinematic uh, on Batman. Right. Yeah. True. Very. Because I'm a true. Batman fan. <laughs> Die Hard Batman fan here. Die Hard Batman. In fan. case if you didn't know, he likes Batman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I almost. I was gonna put a bunch of Batman figures up here, and I was like, "That's a little too much." Well, why the heck didn't you? Come on! Yeah. <laughs> next, next time, if you have me on in the future, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll definitely have you on uh, for the future. Listen, uh, I don't know if you know, but our time is already almost up. Awesome. Yeah, it's cr- awesome. What the show was boring? No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm nervous. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. When you're having fun, the half hour really blows by. That's true. Uh, how about you, uh, so we're going to close up the show in a little bit, but how about you tell the viewers how they can get in contact with you if uh, they have any questions about your artwork? Um, you can reach me on pretty much every social media network, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Twitch, at Reno Masad, R-E-N-O-M-S-A-D. Um, or if you want to send me a direct email, you can do it at Reno Masad dot help at gmail.com and send me a message or email send me an email and i'll get back to you when i can very good my friend well i want to thank you so much for being on the show once again i know i did it like maybe three times but i am i am really honored that you're on the show and i i really can't thank you enough well thanks so much for having me man i'm uh hopefully next time i won't be so nervous <laughs> <laughs> maybe hopefully i won't be either you never know hey, hey well, we gotta get you know weather get weather get our level up uh happening so you can uh, be sure to follow uh, Reno Massad on Instagram. You know, he's always posting really great things, uh, awesome artwork. You know, if you like the show, please be sure to like it. Uh, give a comment below. Uh, give us some feedback and uh, share it with your friends. And also, if you would like to be a potential guest of Superpower Review, you can email the show at superpowerreview 9 at gmail.com and uh, I'm hoping to hear from you and uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's show so I will see you next time.